Welcome to the Sticky Trifle Podcast. Wow, and the sun is out. And guess what? I'm going to want to meet a grandma. Not just only a grandma. A grandma that actually has a own YouTube channel also. Welcome to... Sticky Trifle Podcast. Sticky Trifle Podcast. Sticky, uh, Sticky Trifle Podcast number fifty-five, and my guest uh, is Isabel Gregory. Isabel Gregory, that's and correct. I must say, you're a very elegant-looking lady. Thank you, thank you. I like the fashion. You can tell me again. Uh, you have, you have, you've got class. <laughs> thank you. You've got class in a glass, and we, we, actually, since we're thinking about class in a glass, are we here to test this? We could easily test it. Right. So if we, if we, we've got the uh, Ben Show Summer Berries. Oh yes, aye, yes. Perfect time. Yes. Aye. Perfect. And we're just coming to mm-hmm. the end of June, mm-hmm. so um, how mm-hmm. are we finding us? That's lovely. Summer berries, lovely. Mm. Right, now, um, we've got a lot in common, actually. Okay. Because we're both YouTubers. Oh, yes, I'm a YouTuber. And so, your, your YouTube, when did that start with you? Well, it uh, started at the beginning of lockdown, because at the beginning, beginning of, we were all locked in, and Bairns couldn't get to school, uh-huh. and uh, my daughter but, uh, was biding with me. We, we decided to do some little... Well, my youngest daughter suggested that I do some children's crafts uh, on Facebook uh-huh. and uh, that's kind of how we started just, and, and, and just for a local Burns. Because of this you, you're better known as a, your alias which is well, Grandma Grigley. Grandma Grigley and that's because uh, any of my grandchildren couldn't pronounce Gregory. It's a difficult word. Ah. So Gregory became Griggly. So this so is a Griggly, Griggly. Oh, Griggly. Griggly. So <laughs> this is how the name Grandma Griggly, because they couldn't pronounce Gregory. That makes sense. So right. I was wondering if really a Griggly came for you. I've got a new. That's a bit of perfect sense. Aye. Um, now, uh, you buy, this is Petuli we're in. It is Petuli, aye. And your, your view every oh. morning if it's sun like yes. this is unbelievable. It just, it just, every day is a wow factor. As I want to say it. Every day is a wow <laughs> factor, it's wonderful. Right, so, but, uh, look, boring, you wasn't born here originally? Uh, the Broch. I was born you in was the born Broch. Broch? 1946, I was a baby boomer. Wow. 1946, and uh, I grew up in West Road in Swedish Hooses, at the Fetter Danid of Bray. Uh-huh. And uh, so a great, great childhood. Yeah. And so, do you brothers and sisters? Brothers and sisters. My oldest sister. Uh, my mother had four hours and three and a half a year. Uh-huh. And uh, so my sister Catherine, and then my brother. Uh, his name was Edward, but he was kind as Evans. Mm-hmm. And Johnny, my other brother, and he played drums in a band, and then there was me. So I and was And so, do you mind mask it? Is some of these brothers sisters still around? Or no, my sister's still around, but my brother, uh, Evans, he died of a heart attack uh, in the late 90s. And a big mess, dear. Johnny, oh, big mess. Yeah. He's a lovely, lovely, lovely person. Uh-huh. And uh, Johnny, he died. Uh, you know, quite a few years ago. And, yep. uh, yes. So, so you've dealt, dealt with a bit of loss in your life. Oh, I bet they've left a lot of happy memories and good times. Which right? is a great example yes. of it, brothers and sisters right. as meant to do in right. family. Right. Um, I've had good to hear. So, um, but you moved away from the bro? Well, uh, I moved away in 1989 because I got married for a second time. I was near, near looking for getting married because mm-hmm. I was at a stage in my life that I had a job that I liked, it, I had no debt, and my parents had broke up and they were away, and I thought I'd like got life cracked. Mm-hmm. And then I so met somebody and... and it, I, it was and love, was it, it love? It was love, aye, <laughs> aye. And so they charmed you? Oh, big aye. time, aye. And so... Um, 
It was a natural progression with marriage. Uh, right? we, well, uh, we moved to England. Far uh, out in England? Uh, but near Barnard Castle, a place called Cutherston, ah, okay. near Barnard Castle. And <coughs> uh, just loved it here. Uh, and uh, I worked for NHS. Uh, I, first of all, I worked with, with Adults for Learning Disabilities and then I moved around the bend into the psychiatric service uh, and worked for NHS team uh, as so, a support worker. So you must have done a bit of studying. At, did you do a bit of studying at university or college? Near the or? university, no, not at all. Just no. uh, because before I, I moved down here, uh, I was working in uh, Ark House, which was yep. a community house for adults with learning disabilities and uh, it's, uh, it's and, and I loved my job. I especially loved working in the psychiatric treatment uh, place because... So if you don't mind masking as well, when did you retire for the outside of things? It was, fin uh, we moved back up here, we I was doing in England for 10 years and <coughs> we moved uh, back here in the year 2000 uh, because uh, my friend owned this house up here and it ticked all the boxes for me. Mm. It had a granny garden, a uh, bust up outside the door, house was on a flat, family two mile down the road mm. and you can easy maintained house. And so you're a big fan of gardening now, are you? No. Oh, you're not? Oh, no. I thought you maybe all. was a, a oh, flower no, person. No. Not, a, not a bit. <laughs> all thing that I have is stuff that I've picked up off of the shore. It's in my garden and, and you decorate things. Birds were made with drain pipes and can because uh, I, I, I went to the college when I was 70 mm -hmm. and qualified as a MIG welder and so I've got some of my welding pieces did, down here. Listen, did I hear you right? But did you say 70? 70 when I was 70. I 70? I have uh, heard anybody at 70 going and doing well. Uh, so you did make, make welding? Oh, yeah, and, and, and the teacher he says, Did you do yes? I says, Oh, it just like ice and a cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a lot of talent here. Well, I don't know if it had, but I, think I, so. I try different things. Um, and also the the artwork side of things, because you've done you've done books. Okay, we've got Aye. we've got coloring books. It's, it's all your own designs and stuff. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do the paintings for art. Uh -huh. and, uh, but you know, I helped. With but um, but I've I've seen artwork. Oh, the artwork. The books. I my book. Oh, my uh, you did that. Yes, I did all the paintings, and that was because when it, when I relocated back up here and I was working is um, a befriending officer for the uh, National Schizophrenia Fellowship mm -hmm. and my daughter when I was 55 bought my box of paints for my birthday. And you, you, you didn't have an interest in artwork before? I'd that, always or? been creative oh, okay. Again, and I'd always been different expression things, did never really spark? Never. I, I, I never ever got to the top of the class because I yeah. was in the middle of the class and but you didn't get to the top row if you're good at drawing or showing or anything that uh -huh. kind. I was just glad I was near the fifth row again. Uh -huh. And uh, so I was working and she gave, my daughter gave me a box of pints for my 55th birthday and uh, paid for it again to, you know, a, a workshop at mm -hmm. Duff House. And I did a spinting and I got a walk back to collect it and somebody bought it. Oh, well, scratch my head. And you're thinking, wait a minute. And I've, I've got to the top of the class at last. I was just, <laughs> and I thought, well, I've wanted to DSL my life. So I left my job and then I went to the college at 55 and I did art and design. Mm -hmm. So when I was finished there, uh, it was a natural thing that I was able to join up, marry my background in mental health mm -hmm. with art. Mm -hmm. So I did quite a lot of work, uh, working in care homes or with people with mental health or children uh, with art as a kind of, kind of therapy. I'm not a qualified therapist. So hold on, you're, are you still, you still visiting odd places? Oh, yeah, right I, I, was, I was at uh, Jarvis Court last Friday. Fantastic. And I'm about to Abbey Court in Mintla next week. And I presume they get a lot of... Uh, uh, happiness who I see you come here because you're such a visual person that's well, another thing I love see the look that you've got in you've just got a like classic kind of look <laughs> Isabel thank you, thank you. so <laughs> well it, it fitted it fitted this for me is you know I, I do step by step painting and it has to be something that I can start and finish in 40 minutes mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> need to get two boards so after we've finished if, if it were done and I put on a mount and I had it up mm -hmm and I see this glow coming over their face 
it is, and that's something that's coming from the inside. It's nobody telling them that they're good. Mm -hmm. It's coming from the inside, and it's wonderful to hud up their pinting. Absolutely. And seeing this lovely smile coming and, over and their it must, face. You must, oh, achievement. You, you must yeah. leave her in hand. You must oh, feel so happy aye, that aye, you're doing something aye. good for somebody else. Isn't yes, I. Um, I was going to mention now, let's let's get back to the YouTube channel. Okay. Fit is an AMS channel, because somebody might be saying, oh, Okay, I well, it's channels. it's Grandma Grigley's Seashore Crafts. Grandma Grigley's Se Seashore, Seashore Crafts. Crafts, it should be there, yes. showing you. Um, and so, find you putting stuff out on YouTube, by the way. Well, I only did it at first year, because then, when it became summer days, I, I stopped because I thought, well, it was time to Barons was outside playing, mm -hmm. nay, mm -hmm. inside looking at YouTubes. Mm -hmm. So I stopped, but, uh, and then, you know, I would do a few, maybe at Christmas or, or Halloween or, or places. Mm -hmm. So I've done about 112 videos in wow. total. And I've over a thousand subscribers in my... You're beating me. Am I? Oh. You're beating me, well ahead of me. <laughs> and I think I've about eight and a half thousand followers in, in uh, Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> right. It, it just, it, and I can't it happened, it just spread all over the world. And uh, during that lockdown time, you know, every morning he had to spend such a lot of time dealing with the notifications for people from all over the world. Ah, yeah. And it was, it was And it, it was makes, you, makes, you, makes you want to keep going sometimes, doesn't Aye. it? Aye. Um, I was going to say now, because it, it's a very peculiar thing when you're a YouTuber, right? Because I've never lot of us. Okay. Right, you, you're like the that main in, yeah, but when I started doing it in our Isabel, I was a wee bit, can I really, should I really be doing this? Because I was thinking about my job, and I was thinking about for it's it, and even, I had even friends going, are you, are you not sure what to start a YouTube channel? And I says, I. And now it's like normal for me, mm -hmm. while folk it views it, like, especially, I've got people that are working out there, Thinking, oh, if it's coming up, as as we can and whatever. But um, it, I think it's a crazy life for them when they look at my life. Aye. Because it's near, it's near the normal, is it? A bit in the YouTube. No, channels? a bit, a bit. Uh, how I, how I see it, that, uh, and of course, folk will have opinions. But I just say, say, well, I'm not hurting anybody. And I'm exactly. Not, I'm not doing anybody. Only all, I'm maybe hurting myself, but I, mm -hmm. I, I didn't hurt anybody with it. I do. Like for an idea, it's it's always this community. Feel oh, I've, I've got tried, for it, tried. and there's a passion here about promoting folks. Oh, sometimes it's a bit sharing is caring. Yes, totally agreed. Oh. So um, you start, you, you enjoy, f you, you're, you've never regrets about starting this YouTube channel. Do you? Yeah, it's all, um, you know, I'm up for an adventure. Oh, you're right. Kay. Now speaking about adventures, you've been married twice. I've been married twice. <laughs> yes. Right, let's go to first in. Let's go to first. Right. Time. Okay. Well, I was married at uh, seventeen. And, uh, how did you, you meet? Uh, well, I was working in, in the Swan Cafe. Which is Glover's. Is Glover's. And <laughs> uh, so there's this very tall Englishman come in. And you know, can I, I have a fish supper, please? No, I, I had a pluck in my chin. And, and of course, I was, oh, so I covered it with a placer. And, and uh, he said, What's uh, the plaster for? Oh, dear, I said, I cut myself shaving. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and of course, that was the beginning of. Uh, yeah, a bit of romance. So anyway, so was you was you serving a, like a I supper? was serving. Oh, I, I oh, was. Yeah, I tutti fruities and <laughs> and uh, and uh, knickerbocker glories and frothy coffees. It wasn't cappuccinos <laughs> then. Right. Frothy coffees and hot orange <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. Great, uh, because in the morning you can you got all your uh, uh, bankers and accountants coming in for their frothy coffee. That was in the morning. Always in the morning. In the morning, aye, right. uh, for their coffee and. Dinner time, you got all the office queens coming in for their pies, peas, and tatties. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, you got the pram parade, and then at night, all oh, the pan stick got on, and the hair was back combed. And, and was this younger people or oh, was yes, our ages? Oh, yes, was all the young folk right, come okay. in at yeah. night, so you had to titivate up for all the young right, loons okay. coming in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so you met him, and you get you get married. Got married, aye. And far did you stay? Uh, well, we we uh, built a house up in Queen Road, and we moved into Queen Road, two bairns, and with ups and downs, and uh, but you know it was, things were not all bad. Uh -huh. uh, you know he was uh, quite an amazing person, and uh, in the fish trade, yep. because Queen Road at that time was called Fishmeal Avenue. Fishmeal Avenue. Because there was as much folk uh -huh. there to deal with the fish trade. And uh, but only why we uh, we divorced after about nine years, I think, and, and it, so I was sixteen years on my own. So was our 
was there a wee bit of oh, like changes between years? Was that what happened, or was it oh, more than that? It's you seventeen. Think, yeah? I, I hadn't grown up. Aye, okay. okay. Can you so it's fine. I love hearing this because oh. I think we are experience as relationships, and, and you are in love with oh, a certain oh, person. Definitely. But sometimes the timing's wrong. And also, you can love somebody, but you maybe didn't love uh, maybe their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Or um, obviously, other other part is their personality. Sometimes that can. As time goes on, you might think, oh, it's, this isn't the person I thought you, they you, were. Yeah, you grow up and, uh, you know, it's, aye. So, so with the, the first marriage, um, for, for so he's just split up, basically, aye. after that. Yes. And But, you're, but you're very two amicable, kids, very amicable. And two kids, but two kids are together, which no regrets they are, right? Eh? Nina Tarr. Which no, no, nobody no, in life usually does. No regrets. So. No, I've no aye. regrets. I've no regrets about being married, Tim. No. And um, the... Susan is your daughter. Yes, Hi. and Christine. Now, uh, does, I don't care about Christine, but S Susan does honey now. She, she's, she's reinvented her shell about ten times, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> right, but it, it, it's working, it's working aye, for her. Aye, aye. aye, definitely. Right, and so do you get involved in this oh, honey aye. process side? Uh, or do well, you watch I, it? Or? I, I, uh, no, no, I, um, I help with opinions. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, uh, second time you got married, I was to the... It's to an Englishman again, a Yorkshire, and two Yorkshire So, wait a minute, been. you didn't like the Scottish man? <laughs> it, well, it's just, it, uh, well, I, I, didn't, I didn't like him, I didn't like him, but I, I just fit up. Just a white I had no control of our attitude, <laughs> it just happened, yeah. So, you met us Englishman second time, uh, and fit happens, obviously you get married, but far did you, is this when you moved? Well, I, well, I, I, I get a wah. I got down to England for a weekend and uh, I didn't come back. Did he brainwash you? Well, something <laughs> like that. That's for me to know I knew it. Right, okay. <laughs> um, and so, he, is he no longer going to go now, by the way? No, he died in uh, uh, 2014. And was you still in there? Oh, oh, 25, half a happy year. This is kind of sad here, this. So, aye. you're still in love with this person, oh, are you? Merci, aye. He was just a wonderful person. And so was it natural Gentleman. causes that happened, Isabel? Uh, uh, well, he had uh, a heart condition, mm -hmm. and um, and then he developed uh, Alzheimer's and dementia. But he was nineteen years older than me. Uh -huh. see, was that so hard for you when he got uh, Alzheimer's and dementia? Now, well, to cope with? he wasn't really too far down that road, but we were preparing, you know, for a long-term care, uh -huh. and uh, you know, we were, again, he was very good about it, and um, so. Um, it was not, you know, I didn't find it a problem. Aye. It's quite sad to, to Ken, you, you lost somebody, Ken, like, and you have to go on in life. That's right. How do, how do you deal with that side of things in Because, Ken, like, how far, far did you find, like, that hope to keep going after that? Well, maybe it's because, um, because I had had 16 years on my own previously, mm -hmm. I knew that I had my AN resilience mm -hmm. and my AN strengths, and uh, but it was just, uh, and I'm just often grateful that I'd him him in, 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 in my life, mm -hmm. and uh, and I think about him enough a lot, and uh, I learnt enough a lot from him, and he was he was just a lovely influence. And mm. it's great you're touching that because I think people come into your life for reasons at time, do they? Yes, and you know, it's six of our family and honestly his six children are all wonderful to me. Uh -huh. They are still want me to be part of their family, which, you know, is is lovely. It shows that they feel the same why as you do. Well I hope that. so, I think aye. they do, I it's fantastic to hear Isabel. Um now, the, the other thing I was going to touch on, let's go back to your career side of things. Okay. So, you was doing the, like, your mental health stuff? Well, but I started off as a secretary, uh -huh. and, and I was a secretary at um, a, a Westfield School. I was a secretary at the community centre and in the Brough Hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I started working as a um, a support worker. It so it wasn't it really planned as as oh real no. life, was it? No, you know, no, it was kind no. of it just kind of took shape. Took shape. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Right, and the support. How did you find? Because I, I used to do support work. Oh, did you? I. Uh, I didn't like a sleepover. Oh, I did you, a sleepover. Uh, okay, and the reason for that, I couldn't uh, see like when you're in a different bed. Aye. And mm -hmm. it was just like 
I couldn't get to sleep sometimes, mm -hmm. and you was worried about us person you was mm -hmm. support working for. Mm -hmm. and didn't care what's right. for. But or did you have to do that? I had to do sleepovers. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I you slept like a log, <laughs> near dude, did you? It, well, can I say it's such an distant past, and. Um, that I kind of think they had big deal of problems. I'm still in touch with one of my, two of my colleagues and, and my boss. Mm -hmm. uh, my boss has now moved to Rosarte and and uh, so we're still firm friends for the mm -hmm. other days and and uh, still in touch with colleagues. So uh, it's, uh, it's it was a good, you know, a lot of good experiences Aye. there. And um, what about yourself? So let's let's speak about uh, crafts and stuff. Aye. So you you like marking things that. Usually, is it stuff you get in doing here and stuff, or you're just all right? Well, I've, I've bits of rope and bits of drain pipes and bits of steens and just fit of us. And so, is this is this like a is that everyday thing, or is it maybe certain well, once a week you'll uh, maybe uh, uh, and can I say uh, what I'm going to go out with shed and oh, all? I, and I, I just come do my shed and I th oh, I'm getting marked jewelry the day, or I'm going to paint, or you know, I'm going to get just depends what I'm in the mood today. Aye. And so, see we see we have some motivation for you getting into this stuff. Is there sometimes you think, oh no, I, I'm I'm giving it up. I'm not getting into it anymore. Or, or it's part of you. It's well, part of you like the, the only thing I would say that I would be giving up, I think, when I was uh, I used to do a lot of craft fairs. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember uh, I was at the Taste of Grampian, and I was seventy, and and I enjoyed the craft fairs, and I like it speaking to everybody and. Uh, but this particular date was three o'clock and I thought, well, I'm just wanting him. And that was the writing on the wall. So uh, I, I thought I'd heen in off of the no. humphing and, and the craft fair. So I just do fit a fancy uh, again. Now, r relaxing time for you. At night time, are you a, you a TV or a book person? I had a TV in 32 years. What? Mm -hmm. So a TV license people, they didn't like you really? Well, I've, I've had to buy in because I, I watch the news on my iPad and uh, but it's uh, so, something... So TV is something that's never, never ever, um, no. bothered you? The thing is, you can, uh, you can, I was able to listen to the radio, but I could print and fiddle with my hands and uh -huh. do things and, and listen, whereas television you kind of have to sit and look at it. Mm -hmm. yeah? So, and I and didn't miss it. That? Uh, I, I didn't miss it. And so, uh, when you're listening to radio, mm -hmm. certain uh, songs you like or music? Oh, I, I just I, I, I like I like a lot of things, and, uh -huh. and uh, you know I've got Netflix. Yeah. So you're getting up to speed. Oh, you're I'm getting up, up to speed, speed now. I, I have up, I've got Netflix. On. Now, um, do you read books? Not a lot. No. Not a lot. Um, so, like your mind, keeping your mind active. Are you mere, uh, or do you like a telephone no, for speaking uh, and stuff? I, I do, um, but you know, every day I'll do a Sudoku and I do a, a, a Wordle, mm -hmm. one of these word things, and a little jigsaw on my iPad, uh, and that kind of keeps my, you know, my brain a bit active, I think. Now, I'm wanting to keep your brain active and uh, I, Isabel. Now, because, and I didn't ask with people are on the podcast, so you're first, but um, because you're a YouTuber and you're only you're only a YouTuber I've ever <laughs> okay. mate, it, it does us stuff enough. Uh, so I've I've got your little gift here. Okay. And I hope you don't mind. No. So this is. Uh, oh, thank you very much. This is much. to you. Oh, thank you. And I hope you'll. Um, oh, well, thank you can, you you can hear a look and good. see what you think. Yes. But, um, yes, I will. I just thought, oh, you're only a YouTuber, and I thought you deserve you deserve a little gift <laughs> for being a YouTuber like myself. <laughs> So I don't think I'll ever meet other YouTuber. Oh uh, well, again. I, well, I'm not sure that I can know anybody. But then that's because uh, it's because my daughter did all the, you know, the technical stuff because she's she's an engineer. Aye. So you know, so I wouldn't be really, be, really helpful. We I wouldn't have been able Aye. to do it without uh, her skill and know-how. But, but here's the thing: when you're putting out those videos and stuff, even me, I'm going. How is she managing to do that stuff? Because. I feel like it's you, it's, it's Dina, oh, Ken, because you're, but you're the getting filmed. Right. If that makes sense. Aye, aye. Ken, so it's well, still, she, she it's a credit to you aye. and her, oh for being clever enough. Oh my goodness, thank you, so. Oh, that's um, lovely. Thank so I hope you didn't mind much. that. No, it's lovely. Uh, the last, uh, last stop, Ostwich. Yes. So, aye. if you didn't read it, it's fine, but I'd have hoped to visit you. her one day. In hol aye, holidays in the past. I was a holiday I'm just back for Dubai. Wow. 
Yeah. So, fit, do you, you like every year? You're well, I'm just going to spend everything that I have. I, I think I'm 76, and oh. and I think if I have 10 years left, I'm just going to spend everything that I've got, and I'm just going to But, it. like, did you, uh, back, back when you was in uh, marriages, was you holidaying a lot? Uh, well, my first marriage I did, I holidayed a lot, and yeah. I holidayed a lot my second marriage as well. So, you're quite a, quite a fan of travel, and oh, definitely. favourite de destination? Uh, Is it going to be hot? Guinness, uh, my, my stepdaughter took me to uh, Budapest, Budapest ah. a few years ago, and uh, I really, I really like it, Budapest. Uh -huh. um, Melbourne, because my daughter lived there in Melbourne at a time, and Nuremberg, been a lot of places. Uh -huh. and so my case is I pack it if somebody asks my own wife. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, hey, hey, you never know if it happens in the future. You never know if it happens in the future. Um, I've loved hearing you on speaking to you, okay. uh, and continue to keep up uh, the old video on YouTube and okay. I, like myself. Okay. Um, uh, thank you for coming on. Okay, thank you. I feel Ask like it's been a bit of a joint production, just to fuck with the YouTubers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so, uh, Petuli is always going to be your home now, is it? Oh, definitely. You'll I'll never I'll be I'll leaving here, will you? Well, no, for the foreseeable future, I, I just yeah. love it here. Aye. And before we go, just... Uh, this is a question because um, I just want to Ken, fit has life been about for years ago? Um, is it just been an enjoyable journey or it, is it? It has been very enjoyable. I think I'm not fear to fail, I'm not fear to try things and it mm -hmm. may work out oh. I suppose if uh, that's the thing. Um, caring is sharing. Um, is a big a big thing. I get a lot of, I get a big buzz out of uh, sharing because uh, it doesn't have to be about money that you share you can share your skill or your time or uh, learn somebody something and that's uh, that's what I like to do. I, I love hearing this it, mm. it just shows that you don't know, materialistic it's things don't not really matter no, does it? It's not about material things. It's There's a lot of folk just through life thinking of it. Aye. Mm -hmm. But they've maybe got a tram. Mm -hmm. Well I don't know Who knows? It works for me. And yeah. it, well, it works for me, you know. Aye. Um, thank you for being on. Okay, thank Brilliant you. Brilliant guest. Uh, okay. And hopefully, Grandma Grigley, we're going to hear from her again in future. <laughs> you never know, eh? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Right, thanks for coming on. Okay, thank and you. We're going to enjoy your son before we go, yes, are we? Yes, definitely. We'll have sun down there. Aye. Aye. And you'll Aye. show me a couple of us art and crafts stuff. Aye, I'll got show going you my art and crafts that I've been playing with. Right. I can go to play every day. Yeah? <laughs> Quite, why not? <laughs> what else is up there? I can. <laughs> right, number 56 next week, and thank you once again, thank Isabel you. Gregory. That's right. Thank you very much. See you next week. Sticky Trifle Podcast. And Grandma Grigley and her daughter Susan's books is available in the shops. And if you haven't seen our books, then stick around because I'm going to want to show you some more artwork and our crafts. Trifle podcast will return next week. And this is nearly as good as home bargains. Whoa. <laughs>
And although it wouldn't be the same without her husband, Keith, he'll never be forgotten. I guess every picture has its meaning. And in case you're wondering, Ozzy is fascinated with shadows. <laughs> Grandma Grigley, she's doing what my dad used to do, sat in a swing seat and enjoying life and the view. See you next Sunday. Bye. Uh, what have you? Dickie Trifle Podcast.